Okay, I think we're uh, looking pretty good here for once. Uh, welcome everyone to another stream of Amori. Uh, one second while I get my text off the screen. <laughs> welcome. Hope everyone is having a good day today. Uh, sorry, the stream took so long to set up. For some reason, OBS didn't want to do game capture for a while, so had to restart it until it decided, hey, let's, uh, let's work. So, yeah, we're, uh, we are ready to go. Last time around, we, uh, started to learn what Amori's deal is. I still have no idea, but, like, apparently he's a total shut-in, and he's slowly opening up to the world. I think that's, that's kind of what I'm getting from this. Um, we had a fun adventure in the junkyard where we, uh, helped out Space Boyfriend, uh, Try to get his special mixtape back. Um, but apparently he was the one who threw it out in the first place, so... We're gonna find out what that's all about. Let's just hop right in, shall we? <laughs> hey Sora, welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a, uh, good day today. We are, uh, we're playing Earthbound. I mean, Amori. It just looks a lot like Earthbound. a fast travel button, but we do have a sprint. Gotta go fast. Do I actually have to walk all the way back or is there like a fast travel spot? I'm not sure. I guess we're just gonna have to find out. Oh yeah, there's there's definitely That's cute. Alright, I already smashed these melons. Not gonna find anything in the melon smashing department. Let's go, uh... Hey look, we're fighting a wormhole. <laughs> yeah, this game is definitely very inspired by Earthbound. Uh... Also, Mori fights with a knife, which is pretty sweet. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good day. We're playing, playing some Amori. <laughs> this game with uh, awesome music too. So pretty great. Pluto, come out, come out wherever you are. Uh, we really done now, dude. Isn't that where I was supposed to go? How do I get back? Let's, I guess I go this way. <laughs> Totally, totally forgot where I was going to, but... Oh shit. We angered the space pirates. We finally found you, Pluto. There's no escape. Oh no. My gigantic wall-defined arms and legs are giving out. I can't let it end like this. I need to find a hiding place. Hey, you there. Please, lend me your assistance. Huh? Oh, uh, well... Uh, hurry, I don't have much time. You need a place to hide, huh? Aha, I got it. You can rest easy now. I got this all under control. 
Okay, that should do it. Shoot, they're coming. Quick, everyone, act natural. <laughs> Dang it, we lost him. Hey, you kids, we're looking for a high profile and very expensive rogue planet named Pluto. He's a big, circular, grayish guy with huge, bulging muscles. It's kinda hard to miss. Have you seen him? Uh, um, no, can't say we have. Really? Well, that's life. Come on, dude, let's keep searching. We'll find him eventually. Okay, sir, the coast is clear. Wah ha 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 ha! Such quick thinking, I'm impressed. You have my eternal gratitude. What are your names, if I may ask? I'm Hiro, and these are my friends Aubrey, Kel, and Amori. I see. Fine names for fine young people. My name is Pluto, and I'm a rogue planet. A vagabond, if you will. I do apologize for causing everyone so much trouble, but I feel it is not my purpose to act as a mere yard decoration. I want the freedom to roam the sky as I please, like the birds and the stars. If that makes me a rogue planet, then so be it. They can call me what they please, so long as I'm free to do as I please. I say, Pluto's pretty dope. My soul yearns for freedom. You understand, don't you, children? Whoa, Kel, are you crying? Such raw emotion. I'm touched. That was beautiful, Pluto. You said it, Kel. Wait, you too, Aubrey? Now, at long last, I am finally free to follow my lifelong dream of running my own transportation company. I'm gonna call it Pluto's Space Line. Ha 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 This realization has invigorated me. And since you have helped me in such a selfless way, I must return the favor. Ah, oh, I am Pluto of Pluto's Space Line now. Please pretend you have just arrived at a transportation station. Oh, okay. Uh, hello? Pluto? Greetings from Pluto's Space Line! Where would you like to go today, young travelers? Gah! Oh, was that too much? Hmm. I should try to tone it down. Let's try this again. N no, it's okay. we just like to go back to the campsite, please. So, you want to go to the Otherworld campsite? Ah, my first request! How exciting! Oh no, here it comes. Ah, 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 ah! One ride to the other world campsite coming right up. I won't let you down, young travelers. Leave the rest to me. Is everyone strapped in? Wait, hold on. I'm not ready yet. <laughs> oh, this game. Let's, let's just go to the other world. <laughs> what the fuck is right, Sora? <laughs> How is that for a smooth ride? Comfortable environments and relaxing music. I'd give it 5 out of 5 stars. <laughs> Says you. I can't even feel my arms anymore. Kel, I have to say, you did a great job on holding on for dear life back there. You have the potential to be very strong. Let me teach you a skill that might be useful in the future. Um, uh, repeat after me. When I flex, I feel my best! Now you try. When I flex, I feel my... best? Whoa, that felt amazing! I'm pumped! Hmm, could use a little work, but nevertheless. You've definitely got the power within you. Take this lesson and use it well. Farewell, children. Until next time. Keller. 
flex. Well, um, let's see what that skill's all about. Kel deals more damage next turn and increases his hit rate for his next attack. Neat. I don't have a fourth skill for Opry, but Amori has a lot of skills. I'm gonna get rid of Bread Slice, though. I'm gonna mock. Mocking is good times. Got a lot of got a lot of main plotline stuff there. Let's go eat some space tube food and heal up. You and your friends feel like new. All right, we need we need to go talk to Space Boyfriend. He's up at the very top of the map. Don't worry, we got you covered. Well, I'll be. You kids really did it. It's a little dirty, but that's our missing special mixtape for sure. Thanks a lot, my guy. With this, we'll finally be able to wake up Space Boyfriend. Kel reached into your pocket and took out the special mixtape. Actually, about that, we might have some bad news. We heard a rumor that Space Boyfriend and Sweetheart, well, that they broke up. L what? Did they really? For real this time? Oh no. But that would mean... There's no point in playing him the special mixtape anymore. All hope is lost. Hey, Space Boyfriend, we got your special mixtape back. Huh, you can at least thank us. Oh, don't be so down, Space Pirate Guy. It's just a rumor. And even if it is true, it's not the end of the world. People get over breakups all the time. I'm sure Space Boyfriend will be back on his feet soon. He just needs some time to readjust. Oh, I know. I'll blast the special mixtape on his boombox. He's gotta wake up to that. In that case, we should probably get rid of that special mixtape after all. Listening to the songs might be way too emotional for him. Give it here, more. I'll keep it safe. Hero, reach into your pocket. Huh? Where is it? Kel, what are you doing? No! Wakey, wakey, space boyfriend. Uh-oh. I got a bad feeling about this. What is that infernal racket? Darn it, Kel, look what you did. <laughs> Fear me, for I have awakened. Hm. One second. <laughs> Much better. Now, where was I? Ha, huh, yes. Foolish children. I must thank you for bringing me out of that pathetic state. I grew tired of lying in bed, pretending to be sick. Like I always say, feelings are for losers! That wench, sweetheart. She's gonna pay for leaving me. I did everything for her. I gave everything to her. Everything, you hear me? That ungrateful little... Ugh. Ah! Just forget it. Forget everything! I'm gonna find Sweetheart, and I'm gonna make her pay. Sorry, but we can't let you do that, Space Boyfriend. Or should I say... Space Ex-Boyfriend? Interesting. You want to challenge me? Do you even know who I am? I am Captain of the Space Pirates. I control all planets in the solar system, and have the ability to fly through space as well. The power of the entire universe is at my command. Blah, blah, blah. Talk all you want. We're not scared of you. 
If you plan on going around and causing trouble, you're gonna have to get through us first. Hm. So that's how it's going to be. If you still insist on stopping me. I'm afraid we'll just have to sell this the hard way. I'll take all of you on. Fight me, earthly scum. We have the power of flex, but damn, he has the power of sick tunes. Just like a vibe to this for a bit. Alright. Let's make him sad. Damn, this guy has a lot of defense. Ooh, ow. Am I supposed to grind or something? Now we'll just need now we just need the power of seal and we'll have the power of flex seal. Right, I had an air horn the entire time. I should have just been using that. Whoops. Uh, whatever. Rub random. Rage cannot be contained. You cannot placate me. Uh oh, you became angry. You no longer become happy or sad. Oof. Means I gotta make my team happy now. Um, do I have something for that? Oh, I have confetti. That's perfect, actually. Is gonna, or Kel is gonna guard.
we're gonna need to heal up Audrey pretty soon here. But since Audrey's our big damage dealer, we're gonna have to make sure she, uh, You still moving? I won't let you defeat me. Out of my way, earthly scum! This is your last chance! on a counter-attack, that's... that's not fair. God damn, that's a lot of experience. I only got 404 for my last uh, boss fight, so that was, uh, that's actually kind of ridiculous. Maybe I wasn't supposed to come here this early. But hey, I got a lot of clams and I found an eye patch. And Kel learned running gun. Ooh, wonder what that does. And I got an achievement. See ya, space boyfriend. <laughs> Damn. Huh? What happened? Where am I? Who, who are you? Hey there, how you feeling? Oh, hello. I'm Captain Space Boy. It's a pleasure to meet you. Ow, my chest. Oh no, are you okay? You got a little angry earlier, so we had to... Oh, I see. My other half must have gotten the better of me. I must apologize. Your actions were likely well justified. I just hope I didn't cause you all too much trouble. I've been having a hard time controlling my emotions lately. I try my best to keep them at bay, but it's becoming much more difficult. 
Sweetheart, she was the love of my life. It's almost impossible for me to imagine life apart from her. I guess I'm a bit lost. This special mixtape of mine is full of mine and Sweetheart's favorite songs. <laughs> I put so much love into making this for her. Thank you all for returning it to me. This is still full of precious memories, after all. Eh, it's no problem. Well, not too much anyway. Yeah, we're glad to help. You just go ahead and get some rest. I'm afraid no amount of rest can truly heal a broken heart. I must find another way to get over this. Captain Space, I mean, Space Boyfriend. I'm so, so, so sorry, but I have very, very terrible news. Your favorite planet, Pluto, has escaped and we can't find him anywhere. Don't be mad at us, we're sorry. B please be gentle. Oh, I see. It's okay, you two. I'm sure even the planets get bored turning slowly all day. Perhaps Pluto was never meant to be a planet. Huh? R really? So you're not angry at us? Do you mean it, Captain Space? I, I mean Space Boyfriend? I sure do. Gather the rest of the crew. Let's go to the frozen lake and get some snow cones. Resting in bed may not fix a broken heart, but eating snow cones with friends might help. Also, you don't have to call me Space Boyfriend anymore. I'm Captain Space Boy. Wait, does that mean... Woo! Woo! Captain's back! Can't wait to tell everyone! Let's go, dude! Right behind you, buddy. I can't thank you enough for what you've done. Who knows what would have happened to me and my crew if you all didn't show up. Aw, it was nothing. We're just glad you're feeling like yourself again. You have my thanks. If you ever need anything from me or the Space Pirates, please don't hesitate to ask. Actually, I can't believe I forgot about this, but we're actually looking for our friend Basil. He wears the flower crown and always carries his photo album on him. Have you seen him around? Hmm. No, I'm afraid I haven't. But if I do see anything, you'll be the first to know. Basil? Where could he have gone? Oh, please don't cry, little lady. Here, take this. You got a snow cone ticket. Uh-oh. Please, little lady, don't cry. Uh, here, take this too. You got a train pass. I used it to travel around on trains when I was a child, long before I became a space captain. If even I can go from traveling on trains to flying my own spaceship, I'm sure you'll be able to find your friend. Oh, okay. Hey, Captain, you ready to go? Everyone's waiting for you. Ah, yes, hold on, I'm coming. You must keep your hopes up, little lady. If it gets too hard to bear, try eating a snow cone. You might make things a little easier. I mustn't keep my crew waiting. Good luck with everything, and thanks again. <laughs> She's milking him for everything. <laughs> Damn, darn right. Your bond with your friends became stronger. Everyone's follow-up moves improved. Ooh, neat. Also. I found the E-key. Probably a good key to have. Nine keys left. Huh. Still don't know where the C key is hiding, but I'm sure I'll find it eventually. Yeah, the MC is Amori. But we also have, uh, Aubrey. Kel. And Hero. Who, despite being named Hero, is not the hero of the story. 
Amori doesn't say much, as you've noticed. It's kind of just like everyone else doing all the talking. Anyway, we collected a lot of junk in the junkyard last time, so... <laughs> yeah, basically like a silent pro tag. There, there's more to it, but uh, I haven't seen all that is to it yet. Do I have to watch this every time I recycle something? No, I don't. I can just press X to skip it. That's good. So. Fortunately, we have to do this one at a time, but... We can just mask X to get through it real quick. new. <laughs> Here's gonna blow himself up with his Gundam, just to watch. Anyway, uh, we picked up some goggles. What do they do? Defense plus one, luck plus three, and increases the hit rate. Okay. Uh, I prefer having the speed up, though. This could be. This is just better, so. Also, TV remote. Defense plus two, heart plus five. <laughs> oh, and also got the eye patch. Attack plus seven, but reduces hit rate. Yeah, I'd rather hit things than, you know, miss things. I'll go through those eventually, but... Yeah. If I need more clams, I need more clams. <laughs> Hello everyone! How's the search for Basil going? Well, Mari, it seems we've taken a little detour. Trying to help those in need, you know? Look, Mari, I got a snow cone ticket! Well, that's very nice, Aubrey. Thanks! Mari, look what I can do! That's... very nice too, Kel. I know, isn't it? It's so strange. We've searched all over the place, but we haven't seen a hint of Basil anywhere. Oh, Basil? I wonder where he could have gone. Must be something we're missing. Do you have any leads, Amori? Let's go buy stuff from the mailbox, though. have some restoratives on me, at the very least. Seal up. And let's save. Because this game has save points, and they're all... They're all the picnic baskets. Alright. We have to find, uh, Kel's pet rock, Hector. We have no idea where he is. And I don't know where Ducky Jr. is hiding either. But, you know, we'll find them in time. I hope. Uh, what's the shadow? You guys just not see that, or what? 
I guess we're going to the Cattail Field. Watermelons are my favorite part of summer. Mari's cookies. Mari's cookies have much more love baked into them. I could eat them forever. What the hell is going on here? A wish? But what should I wish for? I have everything I could want right here. going on ahead? Don't worry about us. We'll catch up in a minute. I think these are supposed to be Amori's memories, but I still don't know the context behind them, is the thing. Alright, so... Supposed to go that way, so obviously I'm not going to go that way first. We're still young. We should dream big, right? Yeah, I, I'm not sure what's going on here. Like... Also, I have no idea where Basil went to. He just kind of disappeared randomly, and we have no idea where he ran off to. I got a can. Be sure not to kick it. Alright, so that's the way out. But what's over here? That's a ladder somewhere. This year, you get just one present from all of us. Well, I am curious where this goes. I feel like I'm not supposed to be going down this ladder. There's nothing here. Okay, the game doesn't even want me to go down there. Which makes sense, like... It's very clearly railroading me here, but doing it in a weird way. Huh. A barn, huh? And a creepy red light inside. Let's take a look. Oh boy. Hey, I found the F key. But what is this? Sheet music on a music stand. All the notes have been scribbled out. A happy family. Um, I guess I go back. Oh, hello, friend. What the f- Ah! And 
we're back to white space. Seriously, what the hell was that? Just look inside our creepy sketchbook and see if uh, anything sticks out. Well, that creepy eye thing's still here. Damn right I'm waiting for something to happen, cat. What the hell's going on here? And, oh. Oh no. I know what I have to do. God damn it. Yep, as you can see, the tag menu has been replaced with the stab button. That's right, we have to stab ourselves. <laughs> oh yeah, clams are currency. Sorry, I didn't get to that. Oop. At that time, I saw everything. When you stood here before, did you see it too? Something behind you. Three days left. I unlocked an achievement. Good morning. Anyway. This is, uh... This is Sonny. He is, uh... Who I assume we actually are. Because... My guess is that... Mori and his friends are all... In his head. Do I want to play Blackjack? Yeah. Let's play some Blackjack. Wow. That sucks. Why can I stay multiple times? That doesn't make any sense. Sixteen. Oof. Okay, that's silly. Let's uh let's stop that. Let's go see who's at the door.
Hello? Hello? Sunny, are you there? Do you remember me? It's your old friend Kel. So I, uh, I noticed the for sale sign in front of your house, and I, uh, heard from my mom that you were moving away soon. I was wondering if you wanted to hang out one more time before you go, or whatever, for old time's sake, you know? What would you like to do? Uh, I mean, let's open the door. We're going outside. Whoa, you actually came out? Uh, uh, I mean... Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, Sonny. I really didn't expect you to come out today, so I don't really have a game plan here. Hey, I know. Let's go to Hobbies. It's the hobby shop in the faraway plaza. You remember the way, right? We used to go there all the time when we were kids. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! So yeah, uh... If you thought the other set was Earthboundy, like, this is... This place is super Earthboundy. This looks just like on it. Wait, hold up, Sonny! I know it's been a while since you've been over at my place, but now might not be a good time. <laughs> oh, what's that? I want to I want I want to pet the dog. You shouldn't walk in the street, Sonny. That's dangerous. Ah, no, I didn't want to actually go that way this time. <laughs> uh Plastic flamingos. And there's no response. Okay. Let's go over here. You feel as if it's judging you. Eh, nobody's at that house either. Okay. I don't actually know where I'm going. But this is far away park. Apparently. Oh. Because these look like the uh, friends from the old park. stench of this man is indescribable. <laughs> I'm just practicing. Hey, Sonny, can you lend me 20 bucks? <laughs> Thanks, that's so nice of you, but it's not for sale. It's for my portfolio. I'm trying to get into art school next year. Aw, oh, darn. That's too bad. That would look great on my bedroom wall. You really think so? My name's Mincy. What's yours? I'm Kel, and this is Sunny. Hi, Kel and Sunny. It's nice to meet both of you. It's nice to meet you too, Mincy. <sighs> huh? What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. You're the first person to say something positive about my drawings. Sometimes when I'm feeling down, it makes me question myself, and it gets hard to move my pencil. No way, I don't believe that at all. I really think your drawing's great. 
I wouldn't be able to do that in a million years. Don't be so hard on yourself, Mincy. Me and Sunny believe in you. Uh, yeah, you're right. I just gotta shake off those bad feelings. I'll, I'll try to buckle down and finish this now. That's the spirit. See you around, Mincy. You got this. Aw. <laughs> Let's go give this lady some trash. I'm not sure what she's gonna do with it, but hey. Ooh, I got one whole dollar. Gotta, gotta make the, gotta, gotta make the money somehow, right? <laughs> An empty picnic basket. Drink apple juice. <laughs> Algae supports hydration. Oh god. Sell sell your apples. Here, take this trash. Alright. I'm not sure where I'm going. But we're just gonna keep looking around until we find stuff, right? Oh there it is. Hobbies. <laughs> it's got a bee on it. Well, here we are at Hobbies. It's probably been a while since you were here, but it hasn't really changed all that much. It's all the same old stuff. Captain Spaceboy games, sweetheart movies, a few pet rocks. Except now they're vintage. Actually, since we're here, I should probably buy a gift for Hero. He's in college right now, but he should be coming back sometime tomorrow. He's studying to be a doctor, so maybe I should buy him... some medicine? No, that's a horrible idea. You should help pick out the gift, Sonny. Let's look around and see what there is. These CDs look pretty cool, but I think Kiro would appreciate something more sentimental. Let's keep looking. <laughs> looking through these comics brings back so many memories. Just like the old times, huh, Sonny? Hero was never too interested in comics, though. Captain yeah, Space Boy Space Adventure. Super Ultra Sprout Mole Eater, Revenge of the Moles 3. Great M for Mature, huh? That's too violent for Hero. He definitely won't appreciate something like this. Challenge this monster to a battle? Uh, sure. What the hell? Uh, maybe I was supposed to run. I don't have the same skills I did when I was a Mori. Whatever, I'll just keep punching him. Sunny? Earth to Sunny. 
Whoa, a CD fell from behind the poster. Weird. I wonder who hit it there. I guess we can just take it? You got a Mary CD. Kel, how you been, buddy? It's been a while since you come around, hasn't it? I was kind of hoping you'd say more. Supposed to be getting him. Perfect! Papa Chips Chip Off the Old Block Cookbook. Wow, that's a mouthful. You were at a copy of this when we were kids, but our dog Hector destroyed it. You can be so happy when he sees this. But before that, we need to ask the most important question. How much does it cost? 20 bucks? This is extortion! Shoot, I left my wallet at home. Uh, can you spot me, Sonny? Pay you back, I promise. Thanks, friend. I knew I could count on you. You took Hero's gift off the shelf. Hey, shopkeep. We'd like to buy this cookbook, please. Kel, how you been, buddy? It's been a while since you've come around, hasn't it? Ah, that's Papa Chip's chip off the old block cookbook. I see you have good taste. Yeah, my brother used to follow his recipes all the time. His cookies are my favorite. Rare that I see another fan of Papa Chip's work. That'll be 20 bucks, please. Thank you, kind sirs. Please enjoy. You got Hero's gift. Thanks a lot, Sonny. I bet Hero will love this. So, where do you want to go now, Sonny? Guess there's really not much to do around the suburbs, huh? Oh, how about the faraway park? Yeah, the park. We passed by on the way here. That sounds fun, doesn't it? I'll give him a buck. Why not? <laughs> Gotta clean up the litter while we're here. Crossing KK slider. Yep. <laughs> K 
Karen, if we keep doing this, we're gonna be stuck here forever. Oh god. No, Karen. It should definitely be you! What if I pick a color you don't like? Oh my god. Help. <laughs> Let's get a stranger to help us. Hey you, could you help us out for a second? Please come here and pick a color sample. Just make sure it's completely random. You picked up a floral wallpaper sample. Huh? What's this wallpaper doing here in the paint section? Huh, must got misplaced. Well, it's not really what I was expecting, but I'm kinda digging it. What do you think, Garen? A wallpaper seems neat. I think this works just fine. Let's do it! Thank you so much for your help. We're both from around the area, but we just moved in together into a brand new house recently. It's the one with the yellow roof on the street near the church. We're thinking of having a housewarming party two days from now. It'd be amazing if you could join. So weird. Kinda digging it though. Get super hyped for this guy fixing his leak. Aw oh, yeah. garden section. It's a sparkly. A seashell. Huh. Now why are those two just vanish? Who knows? Buy stuff and fix it yourself. I'll buy some flowers. I don't know who I'm buying flowers for, but it seems like a thing I should have. Anyway, uh, let's go into other mart. Food is only a vehicle for a sauce. husband keeps eating junk food. I need to make sure he has a healthy meal. <laughs> this game is so strange. I have one job and it's to sell meat. I don't have enough... I hope we meet again. Oh god, that's that's like one of my jokes. I appreciate you meet, man. Hey. Uh Wakar and I. No. Do I want some fish? I do, but I don't have the money. Alright, let's uh Let's get that. Oh wait, no. It's going to the candy section. Oh, Hold your currency. It's Smiley. S M I L E Y. Y, y, y yes, ma'am. Oh God. Hey, OT1 Turkey, welcome to the stream. Please come again, or else, smiley smiley. This place is creepy, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> How's it going? Hope you're having a 
lovely time. Or at least a modestly welcoming time, all things considered. <laughs> Let's go to the park. Actually, we haven't been to Geno's yet. Should I go into Geno's? Let's go into Geno's. Why not? Speed's up. No, I want. I want to go in here. I want to stay in here for a little while. Thanks. Thanks, guys. I know what you're thinking. You know, I don't own this place, but they give me a free whole pizza for my birthday every year, so that's pretty cool. My wife keeps telling me that I'm chubbier and tubbier, but I can't just help myself when I live so close to delicious food like Gino's Pizza. <laughs> I'm so close to beating this game, but if I played a second longer, I wouldn't have slept. I would play it all night. Uh, I know that feeling. Um, <laughs> I uh, started streaming it a couple of nights ago, and I was just like, oh, if I keep going, I'm going to be up until like 10 a.m. That's not good. That's normal when I go to sleep. <laughs> Twenty bucks for a whole pizza. Eight eighths of a whole pizza. Man. <laughs> I I appreciate all of these. Let's uh let's get one orange soda. Or orange Joe. Sure, why not? And yeah, this uh, guy will tell you who's the composer of the song. Uh, you might recognize the name Toby Fox from uh, Earthbound ROM Hacks and uh, Undertale, probably. Also Homestuck, I guess. I don't know what Homestuck is, but apparently he did stuff for that, too. You think this game is scary at all yet? Just wait. Well, I mean, I'm already terrified by that creepy shadow thingy, so... <laughs> I'm hoping we uh, don't run into more of that. Knowing my luck, we probably will. Wait, don't go. Please. Sorry, dude. Can't help you. You're on your own. Uh-oh. There's some commotion going on over there. Let's check it out. This ain't none of my business. You got beef with her, then talk to her yourself, you creep. I'm begging you. Just ask her to give it back. She won't listen to me. Wait. Is that... That's Basil. Leave him alone, you bully. Huh? Uh, who's there? Oh, it's just Kel. Mm. Why don't you mind your own business? Well, why don't you go bother someone else, Kim? Psh. Well, aren't you acting all high and mighty? You don't make the rules around here. What's going on over there? Oh no, it's a biker gang. Oh shit, is this Aubrey? What the hell? Oh, hey, Aubrey. This nerd Kel just showed up and thinks he can boss me around. Let's show him what's what. Kel. What do you want? Stop messing with Basil. How could you? We all should be friends, don't you remember? Tell her, Sonny. Sonny's here? Wow, it really is you. It's been a while, but you haven't changed a bit. How long has it been since you left your house? Three years? Maybe four? Must have been nice to live in your own little bubble. Watch it, Aubrey! You don't know what he's been through! Hm. <laughs> Whatever. Aubrey, please. Listen to me. Hey, stop that! Leave it alone, Kel. This isn't your problem. What the heck's wrong with you, Aubrey? 
Ugh, Sonny! Come on, we gotta do something! <laughs> Are you guys really picking a fight? Sure. Why not? The two of you against me. How's that sound? Come at me! I'll take on the both of you! Wait, does that bat have nails in it? What the f- Oh god. This is probably not going to go well for us. D damn. Ah, what the? Is is that a knife? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, shoot. Aubrey, are you okay? You're hurt! Uh, I'm fine. No, you're not. You're bleeding! Come on, we gotta get you out of here! Uh, I'll get you back for this. I, I suppose this is a realistic thing to actually having a knife and attacking people with it. What the... Uh, yeah, that, that did get really messy. Good thing you had your knife there, or we would have. Wait a sec! Give me that! Kel took away your steak knife. You shouldn't be carrying things around like this, Sonny. That's dangerous! Uh, Aubrey's really changed since you last saw her. Her and her new friends have been nothing but trouble. Poor Basil. Let's check if he's okay. Hey Basil, how are you doing? Oh, I'm fine. Thank you. Kel? I don't know if you noticed, but Sonny's here too. Say hi, Sonny. Oh. Hey, Sonny. It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> Woohoo! What a happy reunion! So, do you want to hang out with us today? Oh. I'm sorry. I'd love to, but I... I should probably head home. Huh? Really? Are you sure? My... Uh... My grandma hasn't been feeling too well lately. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Let's at least walk you home. It's been so long since we've all hung out. Uh, oh. Uh, Alright then. Thank you. Um... Weren't you guys just gonna drop me off? I guess we have to, we have to go out and, uh, get him home. Um. This is like, why is that here? That shouldn't be here. That's not the way to Basil's house. Remember, Sonny? It's on the street that's diagonal from ours on the crosswalk. Oh, this makes sense. That definitely seems like Basil's house. Look at all these flowers. It's that one with the green roof. <laughs> I'm, I'm still very confused by what's going on in this game. My original thought was that uh, something happened, and that something happening was Basil dying? But apparently he's alive in the real world, so I'm confused. Um, thanks for walking me home. No problemo. If you ever need anything from me, just ask, okay? We'll catch you later, Basil. Uh, okay. Wait, please don't go! Uh, I mean, I, I'm so sorry. I actually have a favor to ask. Anything, Basil. What do you need? Well, you see, something important was taken from me. When we 
used to be friends. Do you remember how I used to take pictures of everyone? Of course I remember. Those photos meant everything to you. Uh, right. Well, Aubrey, she took my photo album and... Aubrey stole your photo album? Well, she... she won't give it back. What a scumbag! Don't you worry about a thing, Basil. Me and Sonny got you covered. Uh, okay. Thank you. By the way, about what you said before, we're still friends. I want you to know that, okay? Okay. Well, I'll see you later. Come on, Sonny. There's no time to lose. We got a photo album to find. Let's check Faraway Park for clues. Do 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 do. Hey, Turkey. Thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. Glad you could uh, stop on by. And I. Yeah. That's about it. Also, God, I love the music. I love the music of this game. It's so much fun. Oh, right. Kel's still kind of... Kind of taking the... Taking the beeps. Empty picnic basket. Also, why why is that tree shaking? Why why are you shaking tree? Why can't I interact with you? Huh, looks like Aubrey isn't here. Oh wait, I know you. Your name's Charlie, right? I see you hanging around Aubrey sometimes. You know where she is? You know Charlie. I can tell you're not really the mean type of person. Aubrey took something important from Basil, and we need to get it back. Is there any way you can help us? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who, what, and where now? What'd you do that for? Uh, if it isn't Kel and that weird knife guy. We're the adversaries for the great and mighty angel. Finally. It's time for you to meet your doom! Angel, we don't have time for this. We just want to find Aubrey. Do you know where she is? You seek Aubrey, do you? Interesting. I'll tell you what I know. But first, you must best me in battle. But battle But I don't want to punch a kid. You won't be able to lay a finger on me. Come on, let's sick him, Charlie. I guess, as long as Kel took my knife away, this should be fine. I don't want to knife a kid. Just throw a basketball at him, that's fine. Whack. Heh, <laughs> you surprised me, Kel. You make a worthy rival for my master. Ah oh, damn, he got the bleach teleport move. <laughs> uh, you, you'll pay for this. Charlie's just like, yeah, I don't want to be here, man. How could this be? My training was all for nothing. <laughs> oh, my head hurts. You're the one who started it. You bully! Ugh. Okay, Angel, it's time to be serious now. We beat you and Charlie, so tell us where Aubrey is. Hm. <laughs> promise is a promise, I suppose. I'll honor my word and tell you what I know. The truth is, Aubrey is somewhere in Faraway Town. 
Probably. Dang it, Angel. You better not be messing around or else. I told you I'd tell you what I know. And the truth is, I don't know anything. Angel, you better tell us where she is now. Or else I'll tell everyone about the time you wet your bed at summer camp. Uh, what, 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 you can't do that. That's cheating. Anyway, I really don't know. Maybe you can ask my master, the Maverick. He's the keeper of all knowledge. He told me that himself. The, the Maverick? Oh no. You mean that weird kid, Mikhail? Don't you dare call him by that name. He would take great offense to that. I see. So it is him. Where can I find Mika- I mean, the Maverick. I'll tell you what I know, but you'll have to fight me first. Or I can tell everyone about that time you- Okay, fine. I'll talk. Master went to the fountain at the faraway plaza. He said he was going to meet some girls there for a date or something. Ugh. Disgusting. Come on, Sonny. Let's go to Faraway Plaza. I think we're done here. <laughs> oh, what is this game? Anyway, let's give uh, Old Lady all of our trash. Well, that's not the way. Psychultists. Oh my gosh. Stab. Well, that's where we live. knocking on everyone's houses cuz I don't know where I'm going That looked promising. Maybe we should go that way. Hey kids. You're just in time to watch me fix this pipe once and for all. Come in, come in. Hell yeah. Just a few more last minute adjustments and I can finally put this baby to rest. Ah, the sweet sound of silence at last. Uh, rats. I guess I'll try again tomorrow. Here's a dollar, kids. Go get yourself some candy or something. Can't believe we can just go into this guy's house and steal all of his trash. Dude sleeps with a power drill next to his bed? Really? This bed is sticky. There's taffy stuck on the sheets. You would rate it a 2 out of 10? <laughs> what? I don't even know what to say to that. Here's the church. Looks like they're setting up for a sermon. You don't really want to spend your last days here hanging out at church, do you? Not really. Also, the road closed that way, too. I guess this isn't where I'm supposed to be going. Huh. 
this faraway plaza where all that uh, shopping mall stuff is? Probably. Oh, space bunny aren't real. Space bunnies can't hurt you. This lady lost her garden shears somewhere. Maybe we'll be able to find them for her. Sorry to impose, but you look like some trustworthy people. Do you think you can help me? I need to pick up this week's medication at the pharmacy, but I'm feeling a bit weak at the moment. I used to send my daughter Charlene, but she's not here right now. It's so kind as to pick it up for me. Sure, why not? We'll go pick up this old lady's uh, prescription while we're out doing random stuff. Well, I found her garden shears pretty quickly, so that's good. <laughs> Alright, now we can party at this uh, lady's house. Look at us being, uh, good Samaritans. Look at how nice this place is compared to a rough guy's house. So she's uh, one of those biker kids' parents. I see. <laughs> and then I told him, it's not Maverick. It's the Maverick. Oh, the Maverick. You're so funny. <laughs> what an amazing story, the Maverick. Girls, girls, please. There's enough of me to go around. Kyle, what are you doing? Ugh. It isn't Kel, my arch nemesis. Finally here to admit defeat, are you? I don't have time for this, Mikhail. We're looking for Aubrey seen her around. S stop calling me that! I cast away that name a long time ago. Mikhail, do you know where she is or not? Again with that godforsaken name. H how dare you make a fool of me? I, the Maverick, will not stand for this. Prepare to face your doom. Watch this, ladies. I'll wipe the floor with this loser. Please, Mikhail, don't do this to yourself. I'm gonna ask one more time. Fight me, you wad! Don't be a chicken! Ugh, are we really gonna do this? Okay then, come on, Sonny, let's take him down. Oh god, he sparkles. Oh, Kel, you pitiful fool. You don't stand a chance against the Maverick. Bad, but this fight's just getting started. Oh. 
<laughs> as expected of my rival. But I must tell you, while you were fooling around and playing sports, I was honing my techniques just for this moment. You'll never reach my level of skill. You're going down, Kel. I should probably heal Kel. <laughs> Is that all you got? I've only been using 10% of my power. Behold, my final form. I bet you're regretting your decision now. I'm just way too cool for you. You're nothing but a loser. It's only a, a matter of time before you tire yourselves out. My victory's imminent. <laughs> I'll admit, I'm impressed, but you're still light years away from defeating me. God, this guy's annoying. No, this is impossible, improbable, absolutely inconceivable. God, no, I won't let it end like this. No, it can't be over for me. People of Earth, lend me your strength. Yeah. Ew, what is with this guy? He's so lame. This isn't worth ten dollars. Let's get out of here. L ladies, please, come back. I have more money. Uh. Mikhail. There's no one here by that name. Please, I'll never ask you for anything again in my life. Just tell us where Aubrey is and we'll go. Okay, fine. I do happen to know where she is and I'll tell you on one condition. You must call me by my true name, the Maverick. Oh, forget it. Let's just go find Kim. She probably knows where Aubrey is. Her and Vance are major sugarheads, so... I have a hunch they're probably somewhere near Candy. Yeah. Guess we're never gonna find out. So yeah, that's the candy shop, which is probably where we need to go, but we need to head to the pharmacy first. To go uh, get this old lady's prescription in. Granny's Medicine Ghetto. And we might as well buy a few uh, bandages while we're here. Because I'm pretty sure Cal could use one right about now. Before I continue on with the plot, let's go run and get that old lady her uh, medicine. She might urgently need it. Uh, this was... Uh... Was it this one? Yes, it was. And now we can go to Granny's house at any time. I 
keep thinking like I can just go save at any time, but you can't. So. Let's go ahead and uh, save in the park before continuing on. Yeah, it's the old style RPGs out in full force here. And get our three bucks back by disposing of all that trash. Lucky us. Unfortunately, we can't run in the supermarkets. That would be that would be a crime. Huh. Knowing Kim and Vance, they're probably somewhere around here. Oh, hey, there she is. Hurry, Vance, let's shove it all in our pockets before someone sees us. Hey, Kim, have you seen Aubrey anywhere? Shoot, it's that nerd, Kel. Come on, Vance, we gotta go. Whoa, hold on there. I don't think you paid for those. Get out of the way, nerd! You don't know me! Hey, hold on. I'm not here to snitch. We just need to find Aubrey. You know where she is? Huh? Aubrey? Uh, I don't know anything about that. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. I've had enough of this for today. Kim, let's make a deal. You tell me where Aubrey is, and I won't turn you in for stealing all that candy. I thought you said you weren't a snitch! And I don't need to be if you just tell me where Aubrey is. You two again? I thought I told you never come back in here, smiley smiley. Uh-oh. Hand over the stolen candy. Don't make me call the cops on you kids, smiley smiley. We've been busted. Fine. Here's your stupid candy. Come on, Vance. Let's get out of this dump. Serves you right. Wait. How will we find out where Aubrey is now? <sighs> Come on, Sonny. Let's follow him. Smiley, smiley. Alright. Let's find out where those brats ran off to. Sorry for the hold up. Let's go catch up to Kim and Vance. Where are we hiding? Probably not in the supermarket. Ugh. Sorry, Vance. No candy today. No. Not again. I don't know how much longer I can last. We're gonna die. Let's just go home. We're gonna be late for dinner. Wait, Kim. I have something for you. You again, Kel? What the heck do you want, you bully? Tell us where Aubrey is and I'll give you this whole big bag of candy. Uh, really? The whole bag? I mean, wait. You can't buy us off with candy. What do you take us for? I don't know, Kim. We haven't had candy for an entire week. There's a whole bag right in front of us. You don't even have to pay for it. Can you at least ask if he has any taffy in there? Stop it, Vance. We have to stay strong. When we go to Dad's house, we'll be able to have all the candy we want. Okay. We'll do it for you, sis. Kim. Vance. I'm waiting. Heh. <laughs> Like we'd accept candy from a bunch of nerds. Aw oh, man, really? I was sure that would work. This is a waste of time. Let's get out of here. Wait. Please, Kim, you're the only lead we've got. Please, take the big bag of candy. We... We even have taffy in here. Did someone say taffy? I see. That changes everything. Fine. You really want to know that badly, huh? 
Let's sell this with our fists. If you win, I'll tell you where Aubrey is. And if we win, you gotta give us that bag of taffy and never talk to us ever again. Wait a sec, there's no need to fight. If you just tell me where she is, I'll give you this whole bag. But, I wanna fight. Come on, put him up, you two. It's time to duke it out. What is with you guys in fighting? Well, I guess we have no choice. Come on, Sonny. You know the drill. Oh, God. I'll show you the sizes and everything. I'm not about to lose to nerds like you. Oh, God. Alright, looks like Kim's the damage dealer here, so let's take care of Kim first. Your face annoys me. God damn. I don't know how much calm down will do, but... Oh, it only targets self. Never mind. Alive with one health, that's the worst. Means I have to use up another bandage healing. I don't want to get, like, killed. Yeah, You're still nerds. Eh, should I have brought more bandages? Maybe. I don't know. Sunny only. Damn it. I don't have any more restorative, so all I can really do is just keep attacking. Dang. All I wanted was some taffy. Ugh. I can't believe we lost. We can never let Aubrey know about this. Come on, Kim. We gotta go home. It's almost time for dinner, and Mom's gonna be really mad if we're late. Shh. Let's get out of here. Wait, where do you think you're going? We won, so you need to tell us where Aubrey is. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Aubrey's at the church. The one near her house. Huh? Aubrey's at... church? Hey, don't look at me. You're the one who wanted to know. Also, if she asked who told you, it wasn't me. Say it was... Mikhail or something. Come on, Kim. We gotta scoot. You know how Mom gets when we're late. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. Let's go. Smell you later. Nerds. Aw, nuts. They took the big bag of candy while I wasn't looking. Those two have got some sticky fingers. Oh well. At least we know where Aubrey is now. Or at least, I think we do. I can't really imagine Aubrey at church, but I'll believe it when I see it. I need more restoratives. Or else Aubrey's gonna kick me into next week.
All right. Should be... Should be adequately prepared for, uh... For what I'm sure is gonna be a difficult fight. <laughs> oh, Maverick. Sorry. The Maverick. I don't think I have any more trash for her. I do not. But that's fine. I believe the church was down over here. Well, here we are. This really is the last place I would expect her. I'm kind of skeptical, actually. It might be a trap. I'll open the door a little to take a peek. Huh. Looks normal to me. I think they're in the middle of a sermon. Oh, there she is on the right. Hmm. She's just sitting there. All normal. So weird. Yeah, I feel pretty bad about interrupting this. We should probably wait until the sermon's over or something. Aubrey's old blue bike. Hold on, Sonny. Let's wait here until the sermon's over. I guess I'm just going to find things to interact with? I think that was it. Like, I guess I interact with the door again? you to just walk in like that, Sonny. Well, there's no turning back now. Come on, we have to be really quiet. You shouldn't disturb others during a sermon. There she is on the right. Let's walk to the pew behind her. guys doing here? We want you to give back Basil's photo album. You're still on about that? It's none of your business. Really? None of my business? We all used to be best friends, but now this is none of my business? Yeah, Kel. Exactly. We used to be friends. You know, Mari would be really sad to hear that. Really? You really want to bring Mari into this? Who cares what Mari thinks? Mari's dead. Aubrey, seriously? What's wrong with you? I get that you have new friends now, but you can't just forget your old friends like that. My old friends? My old friends weren't there for me when I needed them. That's what this is all about. When Mari passed on, we were all dealing with our own stuff. We were kids. It was hard. You think it's all so simple. You've always been simple, Kel. So what if I am? I'd rather be simple than be like you. How could you do that to Basil? You know how important his photo album is to him? It's important to all of us doesn't mean you can just steal it. Is that what Basil told you? I'm the one keeping it safe. What are you talking about? That photo album belongs to Basil, and I'm not leaving until you agree to give it back. Ugh, you're 
You're so persistent. When Mari died, you moved on so fast. You know why I come here every week? Even after all this time, I'm still trying to find some peace. But it doesn't look like that's happening today. We haven't talked in four years, Kel. A lot changes in four years. You and Sunny think you can just barge back into my life and tell me what to do? Don't be so naive! You might look different and act different, Aubrey, but you're still the same person. <laughs> the Aubrey you knew is long gone. And the Aubrey that was your friend? She's long gone too. Okay, fine. I get that you're angry. Look, if it's an apology you want, here. I'm sorry, okay? I should have been there for you when we lost Mari. No. I won't accept this. Wait! Where are you going? I can't let you go until you promise me you'll give Basil his photo album back, you thief! No, what, what's happening? Basil? Isn't that the boy who... I've seen Aubrey and her friends bully. Now she's stealing as well. Oops. You think you're the good guy, don't you, Kel? And I'm the big, bad bully. Here to terrorize poor, defenseless Basil. You're the one hanging out with the psychopath who carries around a knife! Now's not the time to do this, Aubrey. You don't get to say that! You're the one who barged in here! I already said I was sorry for everything. If you want me to be a bully, then I'll be a bully. You two better come at me quick, or I'll come at you first! Oh shit, we're throwing down in a church? I don't know how to feel about this. Look at her clothing. It's completely inappropriate for church. I can't believe she'd bring a weapon in here. How uncivilized. Why are you here? What do these delinquents think they're doing? This is a place of worship! Uh -oh. Someone needs to stop them. Where are their parents? I don't have anything to bring back from the dead, so... I might be in trouble. Oh, Why? Why now? That girl is a threat to this neighborhood. There's no hope for sinners like her. I always thought she'd be trouble. The pastor should have kicked her out a long time ago. Children these days have no respect. I hope my kids don't turn out like her. Yeah, I don't think there was a chance I could win this fight. Hm. It serves you right, Kel. Now, leave me alone. Ever since her father left. She's so uncontrollable. Disrespectful. I feel bad for her mother. Oh, am I dropping frames? Uh, t -t -t sorry. No, I think, I think I'm good. I think it was just a little hiccup. <sighs> she 
Shoot. I know she's been kind of messed up lately. I still feel sorry for her. Maybe this was a bad idea. I mean, yeah. Busting into a church, trying to demand something. In the middle of a worship. Like, better times and places for this kind of thing. As you can see, we're both barely alive at 1 HP. Not very good. Do you see that? Aubrey just dumped something into her trash can. Let's go check it out. Whoa, I don't believe it. It's Basil's photo album. I can't believe she would just throw it out like that. It's a good thing we looked through this trash can. But on the bright side, at least we have Basil's photo album now. It only took us half a day, too. Talk about teamwork. How about a high five, Sonny? Do you want a high five, Kel? This is a choice. Perhaps if I choose no. I don't. <laughs> Too slow. <laughs> Let's give this back to Basil before it gets dark. He'll be so happy when he sees it. And of course Aubrey's not gonna respond. I know, I'm pretty fast. <laughs> That's what you say now. Just wait until you see the results of my training. I'm being serious, Mikhail. It's only fair to warn you. I'm fast. Like, really fast. Yeah, I know. To make things a bit more even, you can use your scooter if you want. Don't you patronize me. Come on, Kel. You've been talking the talk, but can you walk the walk? Why don't you show me a real challenge? <sighs> I'm going to have to do this, aren't I? Sorry, Sonny. Let's be really quick. Ready, set, go! Uh, uh, wait, I... I want a rematch. I don't think so, Mikhail. I mean, it's getting kind of late, isn't it? Uh, 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 uh. I'm just gonna let him huff, please. I must defend my honor. Maybe another time. Me and Sonny are gonna go now. See you later, Mikhail. or else. see Basil first.
Knock knock. Basil, it's your friends, Kel and Sunny. Oh, hello there. Who are you? Hi, Basil. Oh, wait. You're not Basil. Oh, I'm sorry. My name's Polly. I'm Basil's caretaker. Oh, hey, Kel. What is it? Hi, Basil. We got your photo album back. Huh? You did? Wow. Thank you. You gave Basil back his photo album. Basil, you didn't tell me you had friends coming over. Would you like to join us for dinner? I always seem to cook just a little too much. Dinner? Sure, sounds delicious. Come on, Sonny, free dinner! Please, make yourselves at home. I'll go ahead and finish up the food. Wow, it's been a while since I've been in here. You definitely have a lot more plants than you used to. Uh, yeah, I like them a lot. Actually, there's some that are still alive from when you guys came here more often. Wow, you sure are dedicated. Yep, that's Basil for you. Flowers and photos. Oh, that reminds me. Now we got your photo album back, we can all go through the albums together. Ah, uh, that's a... Uh, I don't know. It's been a while since you looked through them, hasn't it? Come on, it'll be fun. Um... Sure. Okay. Here it is. My first photo. It's my best friend Sonny trying out his new violin. He's starting to take lessons again so he can play at recitals with his sister Mari. So exciting! Just Kel being Kel. So, many party hats. Sonny playing a video game on the couch. Sonny's a little shy, but he's a really good listener. I always end up venting to him when I get upset or stressed. Sometimes I feel like I'm bothering him, but he never seems to mind. We're back from the park, but Kel is still full of energy. He challenged Hero to an arm wrestling match, but we all know who's gonna win. Please go easy on him, Hero. <laughs> Sorry, Kel. Better luck next time. Kel was still feeling a little sour about losing to Hero in an arm wrestling match last night, so Hero decided to lean in for a smooch. Kel looks so annoyed. Ah, brotherly love. Me showing Sunny a book I've been reading. Mari stole my camera and took this while I wasn't paying attention. I should really keep better track of my things. It's all of us cuddling with Sunny's stuffed animals. He has so many, and they're all so soft. I wish I could just lay here forever. Mari's teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. Here's Sunny and Kel holding Mari's example. It looks perfect, doesn't it? If only Mari thought so, too. Hero's still making his flower crown. It's taking him a little while, but he's getting there. You have to admire his persistence. It's raining super hard today. The rain always seems to come out of nowhere during springtime. Aubrey asked me to take a picture of her with her new raincoat. It's her favorite color, pink. Aubrey won't let Kel under the umbrella, but Kel seems to be taking it just fine. He says he likes how the rain tastes. Just Kel being Kel again. We went to Hobbies, but the shop owner told Kel to leave his jacket outside since Kel was getting all his comics wet. Sorry, shopkeep. It's been pretty busy with school lately, but we finally made time to get together and go to the park today. Here's Kel hanging his legs off of a tree. He's such a good climber. I wish I was as fearless as him. It's the first day of summer vacation, so we all wanted to celebrate by going to the beach. Watermelon's Aubrey's favorite. Kel cooling off with some refreshing orange joe. I shouldn't get too close or he might get my camera wet. Kel's known to spill his drinks. We buried Sunny in the sand! It took forever, but he looks like he's enjoying himself. I wonder if he's going to need help getting out. I guess I'll keep him company until then. 
Yay, Sunny's turning 12 today. Even though me, Sunny, Aubrey, and Kel are in the same school year, Sunny's younger than all of us. He's the baby of the group, so we have to take care of him. Sunny holding a super huge present from Mari and Hiro. Hmm, I wonder what it is. You can't really tell from the photo, but Mari and Hiro got Sunny a giant building block set. Sunny seems much more interested in the box, though. He acts just like Mari's new kitten, Miwo. Sunny won't leave the box, so Kel put a food bowl inside. I guess this box will be Sunny and Miwo's new home. We're going beetle catching today. Here's Kel, ready to pounce on his next victim. Oh, and Sunny's there too! He looks kinda sleepy. I went to the bathroom and came back to this photo. Kel says he took a picture of himself on accident, but I don't believe him. It's the first day of school today! Me, Sunny, Kel, and Aubrey are up bright and early. Aubrey's so photogenic. Uh, goodbye, Summer. Until next year. Are you done looking at the photo album? Yep. Oh man. Looks like a lot of the photos are still missing. Maybe Aubrey kept them for herself? We'll have to get those back later. On the bright side, look at how short I was! <laughs> I know I've grown at least a foot since Hero left for college. I can't wait until he comes back. This year, I'll finally be the taller brother! <laughs> anyway, don't sweat it about the missing photos, Basil. Me and Sunny will take care of things for you. You just focus on going back to your happy, carefree self. Okay, thank you. I'll try. Sorry about the wait. Dinner's taking longer than I thought. Would any of you boys like to help? Yeah, sure, I'll help. I got some experience helping my brother cook and stuff. Oh, that would be lovely. Please, follow me. The kitchen's this way. Oh, hi, Sunny. As you can see, there's still, like, photos missing in between all this. You couldn't really see that when I was just going from photo to photo. Sure, let's save. Why not? Apparently Basil's parents aren't in the picture anymore. A white egret orchid. In the language of flowers, it symbolizes the phrase, My thoughts will follow you into your dreams. Oh, Sunny. I didn't expect to see you in here. <laughs> How are you doing, Sunny? Is everything okay with you? Okay. N never mind then. Grandma can't hear us, you know? She hasn't been feeling very well lately. It's already been four years, hasn't it? It's nice to see that you're still around. Even if it's only for a little while. Here. Take my photo album. I want you to have it. I'm trusting you with it, okay? I just think you can probably use it more than me. Basil gave you his photo album. A lot has happened since these pictures were taken. Sometimes, it feels like it was all a bad dream. It's hard to remember now, but... I think... at the time? 
I took photos of what I was most afraid to lose. Flipping through this album, you can still see the good times. Maybe one day. Things can go back to the way they were before. Sunny! Basil! Dinner's ready! Okay, coming! Oh, there's a thing there. A book. It's just on plants. Okay. <laughs> Looks like Basil hasn't been using his camera in a while. Makes sense. Oh, okay. They just travel out of the country frequently. That's why they're not there. Let's go ahead and have some dinner. Everything tastes so good. You're the best, Polly. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just following Grandma's recipes. Thank you for your help, Kel. Mm, mm. So, so as I was saying before, Polly, tomorrow, my older brother Hiro is finally coming back from college. My mom's all crazy right now, preparing the house and everything. Don't want to be anywhere near that mess. Although, I am pretty excited to see him. Every time he comes back, the first thing we do is compare heights. This year's the year that I'm finally going to be taller than him. I can feel in my bones. <laughs> you and your brother seem close. That's good. Family's important. Oh, hey. What you doing with Basil's photo album there, Sonny? Oh, I... I gave it to him. I just thought he should have it. Whoa, really? That's so cool of you. Makes sense. Especially since Sonny's moving away and all. What? Sonny's... moving? Oh, yeah. I thought I already mentioned it. I must have forgot. He's moving in three days, I think? Sorry, I thought you already knew. Oh, uh, no, I guess I must have missed it. Sorry, um, may I be excused? I, I have to go to the bathroom. What's up with him? Well, that's just how it is. You gotta go, you gotta go. Oh boy. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Oh, it's you, Sonny. You're here. I'm so glad. You... You can see it too, can't you? Something... Behind you. Sunny? Why... Why do you look so scared? Sunny? Everything's okay now, isn't it? Sunny? Wait. P please, Sunny. D don't leave me. Not again. Oh, I still got the creepy music playing. 
Nope, we're just gonna leave him be. Oh, hey, Sonny. I think it's about time we went home. It's way past my curfew. So, yeah. Anyway, Polly, if you ever need me, here's my address. I live just down the block. Thanks, Kel. You're sweet. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. Uh, say goodbye to Basil for me. Aw, oh, I think Kel's in love. Mmm, tofu. Hey, now it's nighttime. What is going on in nighttime? Anything spooky? Interesting? Probably not. Probably just gonna head back home. Wait, hold up, Sonny. <laughs> oh, I was gonna take him home. I guess not. I guess we gotta take ourselves home first. Hey, Sonny. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Sorry for all the trouble. That was a pretty crazy adventure, huh? I can tell you haven't talked to anyone in a while. But that's okay. It just takes practice. Anyway, Hero's coming back from college tomorrow, so I'm sure he'll want to see you before you leave. So, if you don't mind, I'll be coming back for you again in the morning. Good night, Sonny. Sweet dreams. Seriously, the what the hell is going on? Oh, hey look, spiders. That is a lot of spiders. Ooh, they make squishy noises when you step on them too. Oh boy. Whispers emanate from inside the box. I'm sure my spider phobic friends are freaking the fuck out right now, but... I don't know, I just think they're adorable. Aw, look at, look at them. I don't want to step on them, though. They're really cute, though. Oh boy, that is a lot of them. A lot of friends. Hey, look, our knife's back. Better take it with us, we might need that. Hey, spiders, you aren't supposed to be in the fridge. Get out of there. I think we had that knife so we could go forward. Also, I see an eyeball in there. I can't interact with it. I can't get through this wall of spiders, but... Interesting. Whispers emanate from inside the box. All right, I guess we can go forward. This house is just full of friends. Look at them all. I really appreciate the sound design that they're working with here. Oh. Wow. That's rude. I just want to go forward. Come on. Come on. Don't be afraid, Sonny. Oh, hello, eyeball friend.
Get out of my way. Creepy. Man, this spider has a whole lot of eyes. trying to talk to you. This is getting nowhere fast, huh, Sonny? like there's a lot going on. You need to block out the little things and figure out what's important. You clear your mind and remember how to focus. That was creepy. Like, moderately creepy, though. It, it was spiders. It wasn't anything, like, dangerously scary. Looks like we still got uh, the creepy shadow following us, though. And we got a message on our phone here. You have a new message. Hey, Sonny. It's Mommy. How are you doing? Are you eating well? I was hoping that I could make it back to see you today, but it's the last day of a big furniture sale, and I just can't resist a good bargain. You can take care of yourself for a few days, right? After all, you're a big boy now. Remember to finish your chores before I get back. I left a list on the table next to your door. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Bzz. Let's go to sleep. Achievement unlocked. Oyasumi. Shadow has eyes. <laughs> Welcome to White Space. You've been living here for as long as you can remember.
See if there's anything new in our sketchbook. Nope. Same old, same old. A white door casts a faint shadow. What would you like to do? Amori, welcome back! See, hero, I told you not to worry. Amori always shows up when we need him. Is everything okay, Amori? We were worried about you. Now you're here, let's go out and look for Basil. He's counting on us. Be patient, Kel. We have to make sure that Amori is okay first. Or maybe, you and Hero can go yourselves. Come on, Amori. Let's go exploring together. Just the two of us. Hey, you can't leave us out of this. He's right, Aubrey. We have to do this together as a team. You never know when you'll need someone's help. We're stronger when we work together. <laughs> Amori and I will be fine on our own. You'll protect me, won't you, Amori? You gross. Get a room. Come on, Aubrey. It's time to get serious now. Let's go tell Mari that Amori's okay. You know how she's always worrying about him. Okay, okay, fine. I was just trying to have a little fun. Let me toast. Going out, Amori? Here's your allowance for today. Dang, I got 750 clams. Hi, Mari. Look, Amori's here. Amori. Stop disappearing like that. You know my heart can't take it. Hmm. So there's still no sign of Basil? Where could he be? We're not sure. We've been looking for him everywhere, and still, nothing. Uh, I hope Basil's okay. I miss him so much. Yeah, I miss hearing him talk about all the stuff he's into. Like all the flower stuff, and the photo stuff, and the art stuff reading stuff. My hair's so tangly. I miss when Basil used to brush my hair. Amori, will you brush it for me? Well, I miss when Basil used to remind me to wash my hands. Look, they're so dirty. Ew, Kel. Kel, you should probably wash your hands anyway. Everyone, I know it's tough right now, but we have to stay positive. We should all try to be like Basil. Even when Basil's upset, he always manages to smile. So, is there anywhere you haven't checked yet? Well, there's a forest west of the stump, but... It's gross and full of spiders. Ugh, spiders. Well, you know what that means. Once again, it's time to face your fears, little brother. And that means you too, hero. Come on, big bro. You can't back out now. It's just like how it is with Amori. We're here to support you all the way. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm just being silly. Don't worry, guys. If anyone or anything tries to hurt you, I'll smash it out of the way. You can count on it. And don't forget about me. I'll always be there to help you, too. Yeah. Yeah. We can do this together. Let's go to the forest west of the stump. Lead the way, Amori. Let's go ahead and give Daisy her flower puzzle. 
<laughs> hey, we've got a daisy. What does the daisy do? Heart plus ten, where starts the battle happy? Interesting. I'll keep that in mind. Let's see what, uh... Since it seems Burly is very much based off of Vince and, uh... Vince and Kim. Something wrong with Burly? She seems a little upset. Oh, about that. Well, you see... <sighs> Let me explain. Look at this pole! Can you believe it? What are we looking at? Yeah, I don't see it. Exactly! The tether ball's missing! Van here used his arms and swung too hard, and now the ball's gone far off somewhere. Never to be seen again. I told you not to use your arms, Van. You gotta use your head. Like this. Sorry, Burly. Using my head all the time gives me a headache. That's because you don't have a hard head like I do. Oh, something just hit me. I'm sure I saw the ball flying off somewhere in that direction. Into the vast forest? Ugh, I'll never find it now. Might as well be lost forever. Hey, don't sweat it, Burly. We'll look for the ball for you. <laughs> you sure you want to do that? Vast forest is a pretty dangerous place, you know. One time, he even got into a super grizzly ball with this ugly plant creature with dead empty eyes and a gaping mouth. I outwitted it, of course, being cool and smart and all. There's no monster in all the universe that can outrun me. <laughs> Say, Amori, why don't you and your friends go with Burly and try to keep her out of trouble? I'd go myself, but... Van, Brown ran over bangs again. Oh, jeez, there's my cue. I'm coming, Happy. Be safe out there, you guys. I'll see you when you get back. Come on, Burly. Let's go find your lost ball. We don't have anything to worry about as long as we're together. <laughs> sure. Still get in my way when I show off my totally amazing headbutt skills. Ugh. Let's just get this over with. Burly joined my party. Interesting. Uh, actually, I think this is a good stopping point for today. About two and a half hours in. Um, figure I can do some of the uh, some of the stuff here next time around. I'm still having a lot of fun with this game. Uh, apparently, Mari's dead. I imagine that black shadow that's hanging over us is her ghost or something like that. So yeah, it's uh, this game is pretty heavy, but I really like it. It's interesting and. Uh, Obviously, the music and stuff is top-notch, so I'm going to definitely keep going with this. Uh, in any case, uh, I'm Logic Blade. I stream on Twitch, and I port all my videos to YouTube, so you can check me out here or there. Um, if you're interested in supporting the channel, feel free to follow, like, subscribe, hit the ding-dong, all that fun stuff. Or, hell, even check out my Patreon, check out my archive of our own page. You know what to do. In any case, thank you all for coming tonight, and uh, have a good evening. We'll see you next time for some more Amori. Until then.